Hi there, Fire Squad. So I am looking to do all of the gyms here in Pokemon Let's Go, and I'm struggling to get into Saffron City Gym. So if you head on up and around to it, which is uh, eventually up and around here, you can see it's being guarded by a Team Rocket grunt, and she won't let you in even if you're wearing one of their uniform, which is kind of what I initially thought I had to do to be able to get in. Uh, but I'm gonna show you what you actually need to do to be able to get into the Saffron City Gym now. And essentially you want to head on down and around to the uh, Sylph Company. So this is pretty much what you've got to do. You've got to head on in here and that will queue up a whole sequence with the receptionist who will say, hey, there's been a load of problems and there's some dangerous people in here and obviously it's the guys from Team Rocket. So next up, Blue appears and he comes up with a plan whereby you and your kind of compadre, uh, you head on into the Sylph Company to take out Team Rocket and he's gonna head around the island to be able to take out any of the other Team Rocket grunts that are lying around. But before he goes, you've got to beat him in a battle to prove that you're worthy. And once you've finally done that, you can finally get on into Sylph Company. And it's through this whole process of, it's a huge kind of like building with lots of floors. You can see there's like 11 floors. You've got to go through all of that to be able to get to Saffron City Gym. So I'm gonna show you how to get through the Sylph Company and it's a bit of a maze. So not only are there loads of floors, but there's also these crazy kind of teleportation portals and you need to be able to work them out to understand how to get through this entire building. So I'm gonna show you which ones to take and what to do, but as you go, you'll come up against these fights against Team Rocket Grunts. So you just have to knock those out of the park and then carry on your journey. So you can see here, I'm heading on around here and I'll take you through where I am in terms of the floors in a little second. But in the short term, what you're aiming for is the very top floor. But it's not just the grunts that will fight you, it's also the scientists. So be ready for a few scientist fights as well. So you can also pick up a load of things. So I'm not gonna take you through everything that you can pick up in Sylph Company. It's a huge building, you can just have a wander around, it's a lot of fun, and there's lots of battles and fights to take on. I'm just gonna show you how you get through here and how to get up to the very top floor to take on the uh, the Team Rocket dudes that have tried to take over the place. So you can see there I picked up a uh, Super Potion, but one of the things that you need to get in the short term is a key card. So very similar to uh, Team Rocket's base, you need a key card. Whereas the last time you needed an elevator card, this time it's a key card you're gonna need to be able to, uh, to, be able to make it through. So once you've gotten familiar with some of the battles, it's simply a case of heading up the stairwell to the very top floor. So keep on spinning around right the way to the top, and then I'm gonna guide you from there which teleportation devices you need to use. So now I've made it all the way up to the top, you can see there's not actually many places to go and you can see this is the floor. So if you want to find out what floor you're on, you need to click on that little badge next to the stairs. Obviously take out any grunts that get in your way, but there is a little pickup down here. It's a max elixir that might come in handy as you take on Team Rocket a little bit later on. So next up, it's time to actually figure out the portals. So there's one over here that you want to get to and that's the one that's gonna bring you into uh, the area where Team Rocket are, but you need to find the one that brings you to that one on the left-hand side. So I've gone down one floor here, and I'm just gonna have a little spin around to try to show you how to eventually get to the right portal. So if you come down here and head on around, there's a few pickups and uh, looks like another scientist to fight. So once you've made it past that scientist, you can carry on. There's a couple more Pokeballs to pick up along the way. So you get three great balls for that one. And then, uh, and then there's another one just a little bit further down. So I'm going to pick that up. So that is three Pokeballs. But you can see I still don't have the key card at this stage. So I'm just gonna head into this portal here. And that brings you out on this floor. Now at this stage, you don't really know what floor it is. And if you want to find out the floor, like I said earlier, you go and check with the little badge. And if you head on around here, there's another little pickup to grab and you've got a uh, Team Rocket grunt blocking the way. So I'm gonna spin on back in the other direction. I'm gonna try to avoid as many fights as possible 
So, uh, so it's a good idea to kind of avoid people, but you can see that I'm definitely gonna need to get into at least one fight before I make it through this area. So I'm gonna have to head on past this one. I still don't have the key card, so I need to head on past this grunt here. And once you've taken that grunt out, you should be able to head further up. And here is where you'll find Archer. And this is where you'll know that you're finally onto the right track. And then with the help of your uh, trainer friend who turns up out of nowhere, it's time to take down this grunt and Archer. And they're, they're a little bit challenging, but you should be able to make it through. And when they disappear and run off, your mate finds the key cards, the card key. So then you can use that to bring down the doors that are blocking your way. So I'm just gonna show you that on this door here. So there you can see I can make it through and there's a little Pokeball to pick up, a little pickup to grab there. But you've gotta take out this scientist to be able to pick it up. Once you've got the card key, you can head on back to the ninth floor and head around in this direction, past this grunt who you'll have to fight along the way. Once you've taken them out, you can use the card key to open this door on the left-hand side, and that'll bring you out in what looks like a little nurse's bay. Uh, there's a nurse up ahead and a little pickup to grab here to revive, but then make sure you talk to the nurse because she is going to refresh all of your Pokemon. She, uh, it turns out that she is a spy in disguise, not just any spy, a beautiful spy in disguise. And she's gonna pretty much just refresh all of your Pokemon, which will help you out when you get through into this next section, where you're gonna take on a load of battles with, uh, with the Team Rocket dudes. So you've got the card key again, so you can open that door and make it through into this area and have one more grunt battle before getting to the teleport. And then you can head on through to the next section. And it's this next section that will be your final section before making it through to the guys at Team Rocket. So you're kind of up here, there's nothing to do on the desk. Head on through this, uh, this final door on the right hand side. There's nothing else to press. Obviously I was trying to press everything just in case. Uh, and then you've got this teleportation here and this is the final one that'll take you through to the top floor. So it's a good idea to just have a look around for anything else you can pick up along the way, but this is the one that will take you through to the final battle at the top of Silphco. So obviously you've got your mate here and he is going to stop Archer while you head on through. And then there's one last teleportation uh, block on the right hand side just below the one that you came through that you can then use to be able to get into the next section. So, it turns out Giovanni's up ahead and that is the boss battle that you'll need to face. And your, uh, your kind of like your trainer pal, mine's called Bob, is, uh, is going to stop Archer while you head on through. So then you can just head over to the teleport, jump on through, and that will bring you into this area. And then you're through. So then you can just head on around. However, as ever, Jesse and James from Team Rocket show up out of nowhere right at the last to make a nuisance of themselves. So you'll have to beat those to be able to make it through to the next section. And it's the next section where you'll face off against Giovanni, much in the same way that you did in the, uh, in the Team Rocket base. So it's just a case of heading on through the door. I was like checking these plants to see if there was anything good in them, but it turns out there's nothing. So don't worry about those. So then you can head on through this door and you'll get into a conversation with Giovanni who's trying to do some kind of strange business arrangement with the Sylph Company. However, because this is your last kind of battle, it's a good idea to use any of your potions to revive your Pokemon. So once you've done that, you can head on in, face off against Giovanni, kick his, uh, kick his shiny boots into touch, and, uh, and yeah, complete the uh, Sylph Co. section. And once you've completed Sylph Co., you can head back outside and, uh, and you'll find that the Team Rocket Grunts have all left Saffron City. So Bob has turned up to tell us that Giovanni is gone, Archer's done a runner, and all the Grunts have gone. So now you can head on over to Saffron City Gym, where you'll find that the Grunt has disappeared and you are free to get in. However, that's just the start of things. You'll also need to hit certain criteria to get past the guy on the door. So once you head on into the, uh, the gym, you'll find that there's certain entry criteria. So it's not just taking out Silthco, 
you'll also need to meet the entry criteria to get into the battle in any way, shape or form. So the dude tells you, I think he's like the referee, must be the ref. He takes you through everything that you need to know. So he kind of like explains why it's so glitzy and glamorous, but he also tells you you need a Pokemon with at least level 45. Luckily, I've got one that is at least level 45. I've got Pikachu up to level 48, which means I can take on the Saffron City Gym. So that's it, guys. That is how to get into Saffron City Gym here in Pokemon Let's Go. Hopefully that helps you out. And if it does, drop us a like below. You can also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already with the links on the left-hand side. And hit that bell button if you want to get notifications for all of our videos as they come out. You can check out the rest of the series for Pokemon Let's Go with the links on the right-hand side. Leave any comments below. Let us know how you do against the, uh, the powers of Saffron City Gym. And I will catch you next time.